Hey everybody, my name is Tim, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the World of Blaze video series where I'm gonna uh, talk you through how I made my World of Blaze video that I uploaded uh, a while back, which is essentially a uh, forest on fire and there, so there's a lot of fire sims, embers, smoke, a ton of cool stuff going on and uh, in this series I'm gonna explain how it was made. Uh, unlike some of my actual courses where we where we just start from the beginning and I talk you step by step by step by step through how all of this was made. Uh, this one is structured a little bit different. It's a little bit similar to some of my older tutorials where I uh, just show you through the through the through the source files and explain how everything uh, was made. Uh, with the addition of that, I have separate videos which are actual sort of basic introductory tutorials for some of the stuff here. So. Uh, first video, which is going to be the, the next one, uh, is going to be a basics video of Axiom Solver and Pyro, sort of a combination thing, um, where I talk you through the basics of using Axiom Solver. If you don't know what Axiom Solver is, it's a sort of, uh, it's a separate solver inside of Houdini, uh, which you can buy separately, and it's super fast, it runs on your GPU, and it's, it's extremely fast for simulating fire. Uh, so we're going to go all over that, how that works. Uh, and I'm also going to show you the basics of Pyro there in case you don't have Axiom and still want to learn some stuff. So that's going to be the next video. After that, we have a scene overview video where I take you through the uh, through the entire scene, how everything was made. And by the way, you can get all of the source files from the entire World of Base uh, project with the link in the description. So it's available with, for Patreon supporters and it's available on Gumroad if you don't want to be a Patreon supporter. So you can... Pick whatever, whatever you want. You can download all of the source files. Um, quick note there is that the source files don't include the cache, the caches, for example. So you need to run all of the sims yourself. I'm pointing this out because I've had some scenes, uh, some scenes that I've uh, put up for download, and people are like, "Where are the cache files?" Well, it's almost 400 gigabytes worth of cache files that are that are uh, that this project is. So I, I I can't include that, but it's the uh, it's the hip file, it's the it's a new it's a nuke file. The ACRI files are there. The Megasense uh, stuff you need to download separately, but there's a list of like which assets to get, and we'll get into the video on how to make everything work. Um, just so you know, it's not a I open it and press render type type file, that's not what it is, it's more for sort of educational purposes and you can just go through the run all the sim yourself, uh, sim sims yourself, play around with it, try to make your own version of it. Um, so a little along those lines. So that's going to be the second video. Then we're going to have uh, another sort of basics tutorial video where I'm going to explain the basics of Karma. Um, and main, mainly Karma focused on like doing stuff like uh, rendering pyro using geolites. So for example, uh, one issue that I ran into is like, how do you control, for example, the em the emission of a fire on your uh, environment separately? Like normally in Mantra, you have like a geolite and that's what you use. That doesn't work in Karma. So there's some workflows that I uh, that I tried out uh, using Karma. So we're going to be using both Karma in ROB context and in LOPS. So uh, quite interesting. I'm just going to go through that. So that's the uh, sort of the, the Karma basics video. After that, we're gonna jump back into the main scene. Again, it's the one that you can download if you're a Patreon supporter or can get it on Gumroad. Then we're gonna talk, talk you through the entire scene file, how everything was rendered, stuff like that. Um, and then after that, uh, we're gonna go have a short video inside of Nuke. I comped this in Nuke Indie. Uh, so that was my first time doing a personal project in Nuke Indie, mainly because I just wanted to get better at Nuke. So uh, I got myself a Nuke Indie license and started, uh, started trying new Nuke Indie out. So we have a short video um, sort of composting everything together because this entire shot is not necessarily one render. It's many different renders. So I rendered everything in separate layers. So all of the fires uh, for every tree is separate render. Embers are separate renders, etc., etc. So we're composting that together in Nuke, which is, uh, uh, well, you're going to see it in Nuke chapter. Still quite interesting. And uh, it's a Nuke Indie file. So if you're, if you're regular Nuke, you probably won't be able to open it, but uh, it's... It's still it's included in the um, in the source files. Um, so all in all, uh, not counting this video, there's going to be five videos. It's a couple of hours of content. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting, and um, it's going to be uploaded week by week here on YouTube. Or if you get it on Patreon or Gumroad, it's already 
out in its entirety and you can already watch it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's going to make its way on YouTube as well. And the only difference there is that if you want to try out with these source files, you can get them on Patreon or Gumroad. Um, anyway, without further ado, uh, hopefully you enjoy the uh, actual sort of uh, uh, sort of tutorial series. Uh, so again, every week, one episode, five videos in total, and uh, hopefully I'll see you there. Peace.